I were back again, but put the boat back onto the driveway. Um, and then As you can see it's coming off quite nicely. Um, I shall obviously endeavour to get as much off as possible with the jet washer and then we shall use something a bit more abrasive. Here we are back again, slightly wetter than I was before as you can see. Um, that was, I've done a big chunk of it just to get the worst of it off to see what's underneath. Um, hours work that took covered in water and little bits of paint um, I had discovered doing it underneath it's been repaired badly um, I don't know if you can quite see it in the picture but on the front edge there that's going to obviously have to come off and be done again properly which I shall see in there but it's better to find out now than later is that, that originally these were all cream um, when it came out of the factory, um, obviously it had a blue line at some point in its life, and obviously a red marker strip. See the white on the top, um, and then there's been a blue, a uh, green, and then it's cream coloured, this cream colour, and then there's a blue underneath, and underneath that blue, so there should be another cream colour. So there's one, two, Three, four, five, is it right? one, two, three, four, five. There's five coats of paint on there somehow to get off yet. Um, but it's a reasonable start. A lot of the woodwork's come quite nicely around the already. Just the, the jet wash to blow it out compared to what it was. I've done this bit here and I'll show you the other end. So it's well worth doing, rather than just giving up and buying a new piece. Here we are, I've done a bit more. Um, probably doesn't look any different, it just looks like what I've done is just gone round the whole of the boat, jet washed the, uh, <coughs> the big chunks off. Um, to see what we've actually got. If there's any big holes suddenly appear. Uh, and we should try, well we've, we've got one here which obviously is going to have to be repaired um, there's a couple underneath <coughs> um, most of the rubbing rail is pretty good except this little top bit here but I'm sure I'm going to be able to splice a little bit in um, I think I've actually probably got more bits of boat on me jet washing it than there is on the boat still wet, it's cold and it's December. Not ideal. I think they should use jet washers with warm water. Right, we've put a bit of stripper on. Uh, it's homemade stripper. It's caustic soda. Um, put in a bucket. Obviously water first, caustic soda and then um, wallpaper paste and then paste it on. It's fine on um, fiberglass boats. Um, the back's been had two small coats on it. All the rest's it's actually sitting on there dissolving at the moment. I shall give it another ten minutes and uh, blast it off. Seems to do the job quite well, but you have to be careful. One blasting it off 
to put it on because get it in your eyes or anything or in your skin it burns but to do it that way the uh, caustic soda uh, like a tub of it pound um, the wallpaper paste you know just the cheap DIY sort of stuff of a pound pound fifty whatever and uh, three pounds and you've got you know 25 litres of a uh, stripper rather than go somewhere and spend 25, 20 quid on a little small tub. Yeah, it works a treat.